Hey guys, and welcome to a nighttime session with the Celeste Wood Workshop. Um, tonight we are doing uh, just a very quick little video on how to clean up your tannins. Um, I had a viewer ask me to show videos actually including projects, and I've been working on this hope chest for a little while. I've been delayed by different things. Um, but tonight in the shop I'm going to be doing the Morris tannin joinery on it and I've already cut out all the tannins that I need and I'm just going to go over real quick about how I go ahead and clean them up. Um, we'll go ahead and look at it. Uh, there are different techniques um, but I'm just going to go over how I do it. So uh, let's get started and I'll show you how I clean up a tannin. Okay, here is one of the tannins. As you can see, um, you can see that little groove in it. That's made by the dado blade. Um, I don't have a very high-end dado blade. I don't know if having a different one would make it a little bit cleaner or what. You know, I just got one. I think it was like. 15 or 20 dollars from Harbor Freight. Uh, it's one that I got when I first started, and I was like, "Hey, I see everybody else having a data blade. I need one." So I just found one and uh, cut a few datos with it. It's not, it's not terrible, um, but I don't know the differences. I don't know if one cuts smoother, one's different. Um, but the one I have leaves little grooves and ridges in it. Um, so each time I cut a dado, I have to clean them up. It takes like 10, 15, 20 seconds to clean it up real quick. Um, and I'll show you real quick about the process of it. All right, first things first is I got my piece of wood and I got a clamp and I have a chisel. Now you do have to make sure that your chisel is sharp for this to uh, to work uh, well, and you and for you to get some clean dados or some clean uh, tendons after this, but uh, all I do, oh, let me get it so you guys can see. All I do is I just can clamp them down. You gotta make sure that your uh, clamps are padded so that uh, you don't damage your pieces. And I just have that have that chisel. And I just just cut with the chisel, and uh, you can use uh, planes on these if you have some different kind of planes. Um, I haven't invested in any any planes to to clean up the end of a tenon, but uh, just kind of get it till it now. This, this chisel is a little bit smaller for this tannin, how deep it is, but uh, I mean it still works. Three quarter inch chisel would probably work the best. Go take it off in one swipe, make sure that the whole thing was nice and even. But uh, you know, you. You can see that, uh, that it's not too hard. Um, took very, very little time. And uh, I mean, now that's, that's a nice, smooth tannin. Now, you might have some questions about it. Um, you know, why do you got to have it smooth? What's the best technique to, to use to get your tendons smooth? That's all personal preference, you know, and money. <laughs> uh, I'm sure that if you have better dado blades that would cut a little bit smoother, um, wouldn't leave as deep of grooves, um, or you might be able to, you know, use a, a, a different, like, hand plane that'll take it, take it right off. Um, but the chisel is small, it, it's real quick work. Um, you know, like I said, I got the quarter inch chisel. I'm sure three a quarter inch would, you know, shave the whole thing right off. Um, one swipe would be perfect. Um, but why do you need to have a smooth, uh, smooth tenon? 
um, it's because of the gluing surface. If you leave those grooves in there, it won't hold as well. You got less contact point in, from the tenon to the mortise, um, and then then it'll just become loose over time. It doesn't hold as well. So if you get it nice and smooth, that whole entire surface is inside that uh, mortise and it locks in really nice and tight. Uh, so that's why you got to have that nice and smooth tenon. But uh, thanks for stopping by and watching this short video. And I uh, hope you view the rest and don't forget to stop by the website. Um, I'm also on Facebook now. You can find me on there. And I also have a Twitter account. Uh, it's a slice of wood Twitter account, and my Facebook page is uh, with a slice of wood workshop. So stop by, you know, say hello, leave comments, and uh, I'll chat back with you sometime. So you guys have a good night. Thanks for stopping by.